Welcome to no another edition of uh, Sharks TV and um, I can hardly wipe the smile off my face, a, uh, a fantastic weekend of football. Matt, you must be really proud, the boys have done well, uh, you've knocked over the Gold Coast Suns. Yeah, I think as much uh, uh, without uh, dimming it down just yet, but um, just to get round one up and away and, uh, and having a, uh, a win, but more so playing with, with the spirit and application that they had indicated right through the pre-season was, was really positive and enjoyable. Mate, you gave us the prediction in our, uh, in our preview. We were going to get the four points. You were obviously confident going in. What gave you that confidence? Oh, look, I think you know, predictions are a little tongue-in-cheek, but um, uh, I just felt we had a heap of improvement um, from when we played the Suns in the practice game. They're obviously at a different uh, stage of their pre-season. Their, their you know, the AFL season had begun, um, so they're, they're at a different stage, and I, I just felt that um, our best 22 was going to be really competitive, and, and, um, and yeah, so I, I just felt we had a lot more to improve on, and, and you know, that was the case. Now we had, uh, looking at the stats, we had uh, well and truly over a, uh, 100 more possessions than the opposition. Um, was that an instruction going into the game to control the football or is that just something that uh, was uh, happened by circumstance? Yeah, no, we, when, we, when we played them last time we, we just we were going uh, like a bat out of hell. Um, and, uh, and, and didn't really slow the game down, look to hold on to the footy. Um, which is what we've been working on through the, the pre-season. So um, you understand that though, the enthusiasm and the spirit drives, uh, you know, wanting to play the fast frenetic style of footy that we also want to have, but um, the way that they were able to, you know, take a deep breath, slow the game down and possess the ball was really good. Um, it's where the, you know, the scoreboard probably didn't reflect the dominance um, in the first half when we when we were doing that. And, um, and, and sometimes that, you know, particularly against a, a talented, that inside like the Suns are, um, that can be a bit of a concern, but they really, they, they were mature in the way that they you know, didn't panic about that at half time, we just wanted to keep playing the style of footy and, and, and hope that, that uh, or know that it had the knowledge that you know, we're controlling the game and, and the scoreboard will take care of itself. Uh, Brewer um, did really well with the hit outs, uh, we were on top in the clearances a, uh, around the ground, not only in the middle but around the ground in stoppages, uh, that must give you a lot of confidence in your midfield moving forward. Yeah absolutely, we, the, you know, the midfielders we have, you know, Jason Burge, Reggie Salter, Callan Geary, Mark Collison, they're, you know, they're, they're very good players and, and uh, so you know, Midfields are really prominent. We've, we think we've got, you know, with um, Fraser Pope and uh, Hayden Keel and, and these types that, that go through the midfield as well. We've got a really, really, you know, a good mix of players that can, um, on any given week, play that role. And, and I think, um, you know, Toddy Grayson played uh, through the middle as well. That, um, you know, that, that's, you know, all sides have probably got a good midfield, and I think, um, to be fair to Gold Coast, they probably had to take some of their midfielders out to plug some holes elsewhere at, at different stages. But uh, I thought our pressure early, um, when the ball wasn't in our hands, was was what really set our midfield uh, apart. So there you have it, another edition of Sharks TV. Uh, the Sharks get the four points against Gold Coast this time. Uh, join us for the next edition when we preview our game against Sydney Hills Eagles.